Oh, yeah, guys. Um, I know there's uh, the majority of the Mandela effects are centered around things that have changed in America. Um, and that's how they started out when the phenomenon first came about uh, to be known to, to everyone. Um, you know, most of the changes were centered around things that had changed only in America, but, you know, then it was dotted around the world and geographical changes and stuff like that. And uh, I've got one here that I was, I was just watching this um, most amazing top 10 video about parallel universe stories. And um, there's one where this woman is all alone on this memory. And um, it's about American money, and she remembers them being different colors, the notes. The, uh, you know, uh, I think it's uh, 10 and 20s, 50s and 100s, all different uh, colors. And she, she remembers that, I think, um, this guy, I forget his name, telling her story. Um, I think it was the hundreds that are brown, were brown colour to her, and the people called them Brits, because they were brown. And, um, yeah, I just thought it was very interesting to share this on my channel, to see if uh, anybody out there, you know, in America can, can have this uh, memory too, can share this memory of this uh, woman about the colour of, um, U.S. currency, so I'll just play the clip. Up until the moment she poked her head out to look at the bathroom door, she would swear to you she could still see my dad in that closet. Next up, before now, we have the money. This one comes from Reddit user ShadowJack00. The story is actually from a friend of theirs. They said, a friend of mine from Toronto was in a bar in New York on a business trip. As he paid for drinks and food a few times during the night, he noticed a woman watching him intently. After a while, she came over and struck up a conversation with him. Eventually, she commented that she noticed he had colored money in his wallet. She seemed, as he put it, eager to the point of being afraid to mention it. He told her, yes, he was Canadian, and he had some Canadian money in his wallet. She demanded he show her, and so he did. She was apparently very disappointed and started to cry a bit, but refused to talk about it any further. Feeling bad, he tried to cheer her up, and the two of them got a bit hammered together. He admitted that his goal was to not spend the night alone, but he did anyway. At one point, he asked her why she wanted to see his Canadian money, and after a lot of coaxing and more drinks, she told him. She said that up until a few months before, US money had always been different colours. Ones were green, tens were blue, and hundreds were brown. She couldn't remember the other colours, she told him. She said the colours were not bright, like Canadian money, but were sort of a set of dark tints. She said the brown hundreds were called bricks because the brown tint they had was similar to a brick. Then she said one day they were all green and she was the only one who seemed to remember them being different colours. My friend pressed her and she said there were other differences too, not just money that she noticed. Popular TV programmes were different or had the wrong actors in the lead roles. There was more but my friend couldn't remember what else she said. After a while she just started crying saying she finally thought she had found someone who would convince her she wasn't going crazy and he turned out to be a Canadian instead. So yeah, can anybody else share that memory? Because I've got like a dual memory. I can, in my mind's eye, see the, the colour of the money being the colour she said. Even though I'm obviously not American, that, you know, seeing it through TV and stuff, I've definitely got that memory too. So others must share it as well. And the way he was describing her story, um, isn't that just the way the Mandela effect goes? You know, it was different up until a few months ago, he said, and that's, that's the way it goes. Um, and sometimes it's fine, it's hard to find residue on your change, but, uh, on other times there's a lot of residue, so, so yeah, anyway, can anybody else share that memory? That That's just why I'm making this video, to share that story, in case anybody's not seen this, uh, most amazing top 10 video and um just to say really 
to ask that question, anybody share that memory? So I can, but it's a dual memory. So yeah, thanks for watching guys again. I appreciate that. And uh, if you haven't already, don't forget to comment, like, and uh, subscribe. I appreciate you watching. Thanks.